Welcome back. In this video I get a start on this next project which is a smart car. Now you might be wondering what I'm going to do and uh, it's not going to be built for the road, it's going to be built exactly opposite to that, something that's going to be off-road. So it's a 2008 convertible. Um, there is something wrong with the engine because it only runs on two cylinders so I'm just going to start to pull it down and find out what's wrong with it. And depending on the damage, we'll decide whether I keep that engine or put something else in there. Now, my intent with uh, having quite a large property is I want this to be pretty much an off-road vehicle, believe it or not. So it's going to end up with massive wheels, lifted, probably a winch, a bull bar, and it'll be a bit of a cross-country vehicle. So I don't need ridiculous horsepower, but I need it to be able to get around the paddocks and across... Um, uh, you know mud and things like that. So this should be quite interesting. Uh, I haven't had a smart car before I haven't worked on one before so one thing I've realized pretty quick is This is built by Mercedes and they don't want you to work on it. There's torque bolts everywhere. It's a pain in the neck and The easiest thing to do to get to this engine is just to pull the whole rear end out um, There's pretty much four bolts uh, a few pipes and at this air intake take this all off and uh, just pretty much the whole thing comes out once it's out you know it's so much easier to work on it's literally I, I can't see how people can work on these engines with it in the car unless it's something super minor like just changing an air filter or something because there is no room whatsoever so I made a little bracket or a bit of RHS you saw under the car before just to lift the whole car up uh, getting the pipes off was a real pain because they got these crazy clips on it. So I'll replace those with standard clips when I put it back in. And uh, you see I just jack it up high enough and the whole engine comes out. Now once you get it out here, it's a whole new ball game because you can actually see everything and it's just much easier to work on obviously. So uh, first thing I want to do is find out what's wrong with this engine. So I take the plugs out. I hot wire from the from a battery straight to the starter motor and I'm just doing a compression check here with that outside the car. Um, I didn't spend too long uh, working on it in the car before I gave up and just wanted to do it this way. So I assume there's a lot more people out there that have worked on smart cars, but that's what I've done. So piston 3, 180 odd PSI, it's good. Uh, second piston, these are three cylinder piston, it's non-turbo one litre. Also good compression, and then I do a test on number one bore, and after taking the engine out, I'm actually quite pleased to find that this is the problem, there's low compression. So look, this could be um, damaged valves, a, a blown head gasket, or a damaged piston, so I'll have to pull the engine apart and see what it is and whether it's repairable or not. So I just um, start taking this out, take the exhaust off, and in the next video, I will strip this engine apart, find out what's wrong with it, and make a decision on next steps. Stay tuned.